Hey my friends, Rocket here, I'm back. That's right, here's your weekday segment. This is called a snowflake hydrangea. My dad, Eddie Aldridge, developed this. He founded it, snowflake hydrangea. So to get a snowflake, if you want to increase this in your, in your yard without having to go to Hannah's Garden Shop and buy a snowflake, let me show you how to do it. We're gonna take cuttings. So I'm gonna do this one-handed, but see this new growth right here? Now here is the end of May. May is going to be the best time to do this, but look at this new growth. So we're going to goo, we're goo, what we're going to do, what we're going to do is cut that. Now I've got to pick it up. Oh, let's go down here to the bottom and pick it up. Now, a couple of things you're going to need. We've got a tray. I've got some good potting soil in here that's already damp. We had a nice rain. You want to take a rooting powder. Take root. See that right there? Any rooting powder is going to be fine. I've got a banana leaf because I've got a plethora of bananas, but you can take a paper towel, whatever. Whatever you do, don't take your cutting because we're going to take this cutting that we just did and you don't want to dip it in here. No, no, because then if you've got some disease on your cutting that you don't see and you dip it in there, it's going to contaminate that. So what I've done is I poured that. No, that is not cocaine. So all you drug people out there, don't, don't go, don't, that's not even funny, okay? It's just rooting hormones. So here, what we're going to do now, we're going to take this and we're going to, we're going to strip off, see these two lower leaves where my fingers are? Well, you got a bunch of fingers in there, but we're going to strip those off. And then I think, I think what I'm going to do is actually, we're going to strip these two off here. And then I'm going to trim them where my thumb is. So these lower leaves don't matter at all. So hold on, let me set this down. And that's fun. Can you see this? I don't know. We're going to make a cut without cutting my finger. We're going to cut that. We're going to cut that. Strip that off. Now this... This little area right here, these nodes, that's where the new roots are coming out of. Let's see how that's taken. So now we're going to take this, we're going to dip it, we're going to roll it around, and then you're going to stick this down. Now you've got to make sure, if you just do that, that's not good because the cuts where I stripped the leaves off are right there. So they've got to go further down because that's what, push, push, push it down in there. And now... We're going to push that soil and kind of pack it down just a little bit, but there. And you can take one of these trays at your local garden center. We got this. I don't know what, I don't know what was in there. So, I mean, some flowers were in there. These are kind of small. But, you know, when you buy your cell pads, you know, there's like 36 begonias to a tray. You know, you can use all that. You could do 36 of these. Now, let me tell you, here's a, here's a tip. Here's a tip. Mark on your calendar. So today's Memorial Day. You can mark on your calendar. Took a cutting. Put that on there. Now, for six weeks, don't go out here every week and go, Hey, has it got roots? Has it got roots? Has it got roots? Don't do that because tiny little roots are going to come out. And every time you pull it up, it's just going to strip those roots off. So you mark on your calendar the day you did the cutting and you leave it alone for six weeks. And here's another tip. You put this whole tray, and you've got all these cuttings in here, you put them on a shady side of your house that doesn't get full blasting sun, and you take a water bottle, and you miss that, just missed it. You don't want the soil to dry out, nor do you want it to be soaking wet every day, but you do want to mist them. So you know there's little, like, little spray bottles, you know, I've had those on TV before, the little spray bottles, just fill it full of water and go out there a couple of times. I know it's a pain in the butt, but if you really wanted some free plants, this is how you're going to do them. Now... The tips I've told you about how to populate your hydrangea in your landscape, you can do this for all flowers, all trees. If you want to populate trees or flowers or, or whatever, take the same advice and you do the same procedure for taking cuttings. And this will populate whatever. If you're doing coleus or if you're doing uh, fruit trees, it's the new growth. You, now look, here's some old growth. See this stem? <laughs> you don't take cuttings from that. And look, this right here, that's not good. And this has got a bloom on it. So this bloom, you're not going to take a cutting from that, nor are you going to take a cutting from this right here. That's got a bloom on there. You want to take cuttings from tender growth. So like right here, see this? This is tender growth. See that? That's again, we're going to strip these leaves here, and we're going to, you get the message. Okay, my friends, I just thought y'all need to know, now's the time to do hydrangea cuttings. Y'all are amazing. Have a great snowflake kind of day.